click on the subscribe button to watch more videos on my youtube channel to get latest notifications and updates about my videos click on this bell icon Hi friends, in this video I am going to explain one of the basic tutorial of the cyclone separator. This is the cyclone separator drawing. In the right side you can observe the drawing. This is a cyclone separator developed in AutoCAD. And the PDF and the image format files are available in the description link and the previous tutorials are also available. First go on to the line command. First I am giving the height and it is considered as two heights and a 1250 and the 72 height. First I am developed in the top part. I'm giving the 750 height of distance by using the line command and nothing but the length is 750 and by using the offset command I'm giving the 250 diameter to this and by using the offset command and giving the 3 mm thickness also and giving the dimensions I will show you the diameter 250 this is the internal diameter after you plus the 256 is the outer diameter after adding the three thickness on the both sides or this will may previous tutorials and the 250 plus three thickness is nothing but a 253 plus 3 mm thickness is nothing but a 256 you can obtain uh, the outer diameter the height is 17 uh, 750 sorry and the 100 diameter and the 400 is required on the top first develop the this model uh, the model is completed then i want to go on to the two nodules are showing the 100 diameter of the one of the nodule is showing and 150 nb nodule is showing on the figure i am giving the three thickness by simply double click on that uh, dimension you can observe the text operations you can develop the text operations you give the different types of uh, text text on the object you can also change the dimensions also without as well drawings also you can consider the dimension by using the double click on the dimensions i'm using the 2016 autocad 2016 software and line specific first point it asking by using the line command i'm developing the 100 diameter of 50 50 i'm taking by using the mirror command i'm mirroring the object after creating these operations the dimensions by using the checking the linear the 100 diameter is required then simply draw the one of the lines to show this is a, called as a nodule then the 100 diameter of the one on nodule is mentioned this is the basic tutorial for beginners uh, how to draw the lines and how to offset the commands and how to mirror the objects this tutorial is very helpful and i'm giving the 150 nodule i 150 and nodule some of the standard dimensions i'm considering of the schedule 10 pipe of schedule 40 you can consider and the 150 and b nodule i'm giving the dimensions of 168 and uh, of outer diameter of the pipe is 168 and internal diameter of the pipe is 150 and the flange is considered first for giving the line of 168 by using the offset command i'm giving the 168 diameter by using the offset command i'm giving the 9 mm thickness on the both sides after i get 150 internal diameter again i'm deleting the lines again i'm offsetting to 9 mm thickness on the above and the below then you get the 150 diameter of the distance is the 150 diameter see the 150 diameter is uh, shown on the figure and uh, on the right side of the drawing the dimensions are not mentioned i mentioned the, all of the dimensions for practice purpose you can observe the total tutorial in the description the download files are available you can also download these files in the description link you can practice these drawings in my previous tutorial also so many types of drawings are available and the line space by first point i'm giving the flange for example i'm giving the flange of 170 diameter and the 240 or 280 diameter of the flange as you wish i am giving this standard dimensions and by using the line command only i'm giving the all the operations and the 170 and the 25 is the thickness i considered simply by using the move command move this object and select the midpoint of the horizontal line and coincide with the another point of the horizontal line then horizontal line then on the flange is completed simply by using the rotate command ro enter and rotate this to the vertical position the horizontal to vertical position after selecting the midpoint of that by using the move command and move this object and select the midpoint intersect to the midpoint of the vertical line then the flange is completed i am considered the 28 outer diameter and internal diameter is nothing but 170 and the minimum clearance is 2 mm on 1 mm on the other side 1 mm on the other side by using or by drawn on the 2d drawings you can observe on the 
you can observe in the 150 NB nozzle and uh, next this is the projection I am taking 150 projection 150 NB nozzle position is 150 it is showing the position of 400 position is required as shown on the figure I am giving the 400 position by using the line command L enter I am giving the L enter line command and by using that I am giving the dimensions of 400 I check the dimension by using linear tree the 400 position is required and half of the top of the part is completed and the below part is uh, cone part is there I will show you how to develop the cone also this is the one of the part is completed then I want to develop the cone part all the dimensions are also mentioned uh, see the full tutorial and go on to the below option one of the cone cyclone separator or the cone is required and draw the line of 1250 dimension the height of the cone is required at 1250 the internal diameter is uh, the 150 considered as a 150 dimension the internal diameter is 250 only on the top and the below the 150 nb nozzle is constantly 150 nozzle internal diameter is nothing but a 150 id is required then i want to copy this nozzle to this and simply rotate this object is a different angles by using the rotate command and use like this again i am drawing the line of 1250 height and simply intersect this nozzle to that position of the vertical line of the end point the horizontal nozzle is should keep on to the vertical line of the by using the rotate command and simply copy this and move the object by using the move command and this is completed simply for example this is showing wrong i am intersecting the lines to this see this is look like a cone it looks like a cone it is look like large as compared to the drawing see uh, sorry i am intersecting this line to the 750 dimension line again i am deleting these lines I am offsetting the line. See, I am intersecting that line to the other end. Simply delete the all of the lines. This is the wrong method. I will explain you. I am deleting the all of the lines. Simply copy or move the objects by using these commands. This is not performing properly. I'm deleting this. Uh, I want to delete this uh, flange and total object. Again, I want to draw this. Same as 1250 dimensions are required. Again, I'm deleting the cone part also. Again, I want to develop the 1250 line by using the line command. I'll enter to 1250. Next, draw the 150 line. The 150 line is required by using the line command i am giving the 150 line and simply move this and intersect to the vertical end point of the horizontal line to are intersected the horizontal and vertical lines are intersected simply intersect the line to the vertical line and point to the horizontal end points and simply uh, do on the that side also and same same process by using the offset command uh, how much thickness is required the cone is also required the 3 mm thickness i am giving the offset command by using 3 mm the simply it is constant with the two vertical lines and the horizontal lines as shown in the figure again i am copying this nozzle to the bottom and simply rotate this in previous this is the wrong method this is the correct method the total object is completed and the 168 and the 150 and 280 simply i am mirroring moving this object to the end point and you can place this this is a cyclone seven in the in the drawing these dimensions are not mentioned and mentioning some of the dimensions i will explain this in 2d drawing and the 3d isometric drawings also i will explain you and uh, 3d model also i've explained in ktv face software uh, this is the model this tutorial is very helpful for the beginner there's so many operations are there the line command and the mirror i use the offset command and so many types of time is also taking so much don't don't take too much time to add this is drawing these are the simple drawings within five minutes you can develop these drawings in the description link the download files are available you can download these drawing files in the description link and practice these drawings